Hello, uh, Steve Middleton here, Sales Director at Seller Glass. Really excited to be working with Imagine FX for the first time, which is going to be great. Uh, we're foil blocking um, the masthead and various elements of the actual cover itself, which we'll be able to see uh, go through the factory. So the main, the main point to consider when using foil is that foil by its very nature is opaque. Uh, that means you, you can't see through it. Uh, so there is no need, no necessity for any print to be underneath the foil. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that print underneath the foil causes a problem because of the, the registration to that print. Sol is the operator that's working on Imagine FX today. Uh, one of the first jobs that he's got to do is actually get the, the reels of foil uh, uh, stripped out and ready to go. Uh, what he'll do then is he'll attach those reels of foil. There's two reels in this instance for each of the mastheads and uh, the, the, the piece that's underneath uh, the title shots. We're using gold on, on this cover. Uh, gold is a, is a very common foil colour to use for magazines, but it's by far uh, not the only colour that we, that we use. There's a, a multitude of, of uh, coloured foils out there. We have a swatch, a uh, comprehensive swatch of all the colours that we do. But the real art comes in the Make Ready, and this is what they call the black art of foil makers. Uh, how they achieve the, uh, uh, the, the flatness of the foil uh, from a standing start. You, you can see some of, the, uh, some of the sheets here aren't quite sort of up to the mark. They're not, the, the foil isn't flat, you can see through to the print. Uh, but uh, after he's packed it, uh, with very, very fine amounts of paper, he will get it to the right level and it will be perfectly flat, all in position and ready to run. Okay, so when we look, when we look at the job going through the machine, we can see the four ribbons sort of working through. You can see them moving. What they actually do is they actually run through between the dies and the make ready. And as they get to, to the dies in position, there is, a, there is a, a stamp, a pressure that comes down, that stamps down that foil onto the sheet to give it the impression that we want. We've, uh, we've really enjoyed working on, uh, on this cover for Imagine FX, uh, the first one that we've done of the series. And I think we've really added to it uh, with the foil and certainly the, the other little areas that we've highlighted, certainly around the TV, uh, works really, really well. Uh, we're going to finish it all off with a with a coat of UV varnish. That will bring everything to life, um, really make it all stand out and glossy. Um, and yeah, I think they're going to be delighted with it. What's that, Artie? What do I think of Princess Leia? Well, she looks absolutely gorgeous on our front cover. And I can't wait to see her in The Force Awakens. Okay, let's go for it. Sorry. <laughs>